Hey everyone, it's Sarah once again reporting in with your daily glitch for Thursday, December 11th, 2014. Here's today's news that made the cut. If you didn't hear, this past weekend, Square Enix took to the stage to announce that they were porting Final Fantasy VII to the PlayStation 4. Many fans who have been waiting years for a remaster will need to wait longer, because this game has been confirmed as a straight port of the PC version, set to cost $16. Along with the price confirmation, Square Enix also announced that the Final Fantasy XX2 remaster will be coming to PlayStation 4. Although this title also will be a port from the previously released versions, Square Enix hinted that there will be system-exclusive features for the game. Gamers will be able to pick up the remaster for $50, and both will be released sometime spring 2015. The developers of Stick It to the Man, an entertaining puzzle platformer, have announced their upcoming game, Zombie Vikings. Considered a story brawler, you and up to three friends will take on the role of undead Vikings. It's your goal to fight through hordes of goofy characters as you hunt down Odin's missing eye. With its side-scrolling, chaos-driven gameplay that seems even more entertaining the more players that are involved, it may be a good idea to keep this game on your radar. Zombie Vikings is set to come out on the PlayStation 4 and PC sometime in 2015, but the devs do have hopes that the game will be available for the handheld market. Nintendo has been making headlines with their amiibo sales. Over the weekend, some retailers have claimed that certain characters would be discontinued, causing a flurry of resales on eBay. Nintendo has finally spoken up about the claim of limited quantities, stating that high demand is the only reason why the popular figures are currently not on shelves. Because the company has been managing shelf spaces, it is likely that these figures will not appear immediately, but there was no confirmation that they have been discontinued. Nintendo told IGN that they strive to ensure that the figures are in regular supply and that waves will continue to come at later stages. For the time being, you may want to hold off on bidding for that $50 Marth figure you saw on eBay. As the year winds down, many online sites and groups are discounting some major titles. If you haven't already checked it out, the Humble Store started their winter sale earlier this week. With hundreds of titles discounted and new deals every day, it is worth a daily look over to see if a title that you've been waiting to purchase has snagged a discount. And, in their classic humble style, 10% of all purchases go towards charities like the American Red Cross and Child's Play. If you're willing to hold out for a week, the dates for the Steam holiday sale have been revealed. We can expect discounts to run from Thursday, December 18th through Friday, January 4th. We will keep you updated as further details are revealed. That's today's big news. Let us know what you think in the comments below. You can stay up to date on all things gaming by following us on Twitter at GlitchFeed or checking out our weekly GlitchFeed podcast on iTunes.